We've got enemy HP. That's really, really cool. But how do you display it on your actual UI? Because if you can't see your own HP or the enemy HP, it's not very useful, is it? That's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's get straight into it. You're going to need some sort of sprite that we can use for the HP bar. Personally, I just have this very simple little gradient here, but just using a like white square also works perfectly fine or whatever you want really i do recommend it being a black and white image so that you can add color onto it in engine because if you have an hp bar and maybe a stamina bar and mp bar you don't have to make separate textures for those you can just give the same texture a different color so anyway how do we do well first thing we do is we go into our hierarchy here and we right click go into ui and we add an image you will see that it makes a canvas for us with an image in it. If we double click the canvas, we can see what our UI will look like. If we go into 2D, that's very important. It'll orientate us right so that we can actually see everything properly. From there, the image can be moved around however we please. And we can up here in the inspector, change the height and width. We can also just change that in the viewport, as you can see, to make it look a little bit more like a traditional HP bar. Let's put it in the middle because it's uh, the enemy. And let's just assume that it's like a boss fight or something and we have a couple of things here under it a canvas renderer that just tells you that it's run on this canvas which makes it a ui element and then an image component where we're going to need a source image a sprite we've got this bar sprite but we can't drag it onto it that's because we need to change this bar sprite from being a default texture to a sprite 2d or ui we can then apply that and if we go back into this image here now we can drag it on top of our source image and we'll see that the gradient is on our new hp bar here as i mentioned before we can just give it any color we like because it's a black and white image for since it's an hp bar green makes the most sense and you could even give it a material really wanted to for this that's not really necessary now that we've got our hp bar set up i'm actually going to duplicate by selecting our image and pressing ctrl d so now we've got two of them and i'm going to change this one to being red i'll put it on top so that it's rendered first this is a little weird if you're used to like photoshop and layers and stuff you would assume that if you put it on top it's going to be on top but as far as I understand, this isn't the order of how layers stack on top of each other. You should think of this as the order in which things are rendered. So it's first rendering this red bar now, and then on top of that, it's rendering the green bar, making the red bar invisible. But you might be wondering, why do we need two bars to begin with? And that's because we're going to crop this bar, and you can already see what that's doing. So in our canvas, I'm actually going to uh, make a new empty object, and we're going to call that a hp bar drag both of the images we just made into that new empty object and let's change the y position for both to being zero so that it's actually lined up with the empty object that's just for ease of view then in the green one we're going to change this image type from being simple to being filled and we can change the fill method however we like. By default, it's set to radial 360. And you can see if we change this slider over here, it starts to, in a radius, crop out this image. That's obviously not what we want. What we want is a horizontal crop because that'll do this. Parent object, the empty one, we're going to make a new script called HP bar. You can see I already have the script because uh, I put it on the wrong components while recording the tutorial itself. We don't need a start function in here, but we do need a couple of variables. Before we can add those though, we'll need to tell the script it's using Unity Engine.ui. That way we can use all the UI related code, such as being able to put a image variable in. So we'll make a image image let's make that a serialized field as well for our uh, let's call it green bar and then make another image it's by default called blue bar because it's trying to guess what colors we're using i guess uh but of course we know that our other color is the red bar and then we also need a serialized field for a health component and this is the reason that in the last tutorial if you've watched that one we made a separate health component rather than just adding a variable into the enemy script because this way this 
this HP bar scripts can also work for a health component on the player, or a health component on a different type of enemy, or a health component on a boss fight, or a health component. You can make every single type of HP bar using this script now, rather than having to worry about different types of scripts all holding different values for health. And we'll also add a float for the max HP. And it seems like I lied because we and it seems like I lied because we do actually need a start function after all because at the start of the game we're going to set this uh, max HP to be equal to the health.hp that way we'll know what the max HP for that enemy is and how much it's got left of that in terms of a percentage so in our update we're going to set the green bar the build amount which is the percentage of how bar it's filled it's that slider that we played around with before it's going to be equal equal to our health.hp divided by the max HP. So if we've got 50 health, that's going to be 50 divided by 100, aka 0.5. So it's going to be a half empty bar. And that's all there is to it, except there's one issue, at least at a base level, because right now, no matter how much HP the enemy has, it's always going to just have this full bar. If it's got five HP, it's going to have a bar this big in just five very big segments. If it's got 500, HP the bar is also going to be this big but every single attack is just going to chip away at it which is fine but not ideal and now we can simply just drag in our red bar in the red bar the green bar in the green bar and our enemy in the hell and you'll be able to see we have our hp bar up at the top of the screen and when we go attack the enemy we can see the hp bar is getting whittled down slowly the controls are less than ideal here but we can do a little better than that right now what i personally like to do instead of just having one bar that shows a percentage because that is very basic and it works but we can, we can do a little bit better and that's why we have this red bar in here because you might have noticed we're not using that yet and that's because what we're going to do is we're going to check if our max hp is less than 100 so what we'll do is our red bar dot fill amount is going to be equal to our max hp divided by 100 so this way if we have 100 or more this fill amount is just going to be one but say we only have 60 hp it's going to be 0.6 meaning that our red bar fill amount so the length of our background bar is going to be shorter but that requires a little modification to the update code as well it's really not that big a deal uh because what we're going to do is we're going to say the fill amount is our health hp but instead of dividing it by our max hp we're just going to divide it by 100 and then we're going to add in a second hp bar on top of that which let's make this one well it suggested blue before so let's make it blue and the fill amount for the blue bar is then going to be our in parentheses our our health dot hp minus 100 and then the result of that is going to get divided by 100 so this blue bar will now display our hp going from 200 to 100 and then once we reach 100 our green bar is going to start cropping out from 100 to zero and of course you can stack this as much as you want so if you want to have a yellow bar you just say hp minus 200 for that one if you want a magenta bar it's minus 300 if you want a i don't know a black hp bar minus 400 and you can stack that as much and as much as you like so back here on unity we're going to duplicate this image again and we said that we're going to make the other one blue so let's make this hp bar blue and then our bar system drag in the blue bar and i'll show you first that if i set this to be being 60 hp and then once we set the image type for our red bar to being filled as well and being filled in a horizontal manner if i now go into the game you'll be able to see that the hp bar itself is much shorter because it doesn't have the full amount of hp but it'll still function properly more or less right but then if i go back into the daemon and set this to let's say 150 so that you can see properly uh what's happening here you can see he's got the full green bar and half of a blue bar because he's got the first 100 hp and then 50 hp of the next bar and this is just a very easy but much better way of dealing with enemy hp 
see. His navigation is a little fucked up at the moment, but as you can see, this is working as intended as far as the HP bar goes. So if you want to see this project for yourself, there's a link down below in the description to my Patreon where you can get this project and play around with it all you like. And thanks to my patrons, you can see them on screen right now. And a special thank you to my Cave Digger tier Patreon, Syntax.